Hey, I'm Grimes, and today I'm gonna to share some stories about some big moments in my life. This is reframed. Oh yeah, this is me with Jay-Z at the Rock Nation brunch. I think this might have been the first time I met Jay-Z and I was trying to be cool and I smoked this whole cigar and then I like vomited for hours. It was terrible. Don't smoke a whole cigar if you've never smoked a cigar before. And don't inhale. I felt cooler than I look now <laughs> looking at it. But I, th I thought, just thought I was being really cool, I think. I just love Jay-Z, he kind of, Rock Nation, Jay Brown and all of them kinda, I was in a tri tricky spot, I would got, signed some bad contracts and had some like really bad legal stuff going on and like was just in a very bad situation and Rock Nation kind of saved me and really helped me ensure that Grimes could continue to happen and everything. I feel like people talk shit on Jay-Z a lot but I just think Jay-Z is like the greatest. Like he helped me choose the songs for Art Angels and stuff. He's just like a great guy and Rock Nation is amazing and I always want to shout out Rock Nation because they really helped me out. This is the Met Gala 2018. I feel like the coolest thing about this that no one actually knows is the crown that I have on. We got the Vanta Black people. You're not allowed to use Vanta Black. It's like the blackest black that you can get. And we convinced the Vanta Black people to send us a sample of it. And then we like melted it down and like made this crown out of Vanta Black. But what's so funny is because it's the blackest black, you can't actually see the crown. And so even though we did this like crime heist to like make this crazy thing it like disappears because it's like a extremely black material which honestly is a beautiful concept he has the inverse of anti black problem because his shirt says something cool but you can't actually see it because it's so white that it like disappeared we learned a lot about fashion design and this being both of our first fashion design experience i thought a glass corset would be a good idea it's definitely not a good idea it really really hurts if you have a corset that is made out of like hard glass and actually everyone got mad saying I'm wearing a Tesla necklace, but I wasn't actually wearing a Tesla necklace. It was just a sharp point. But I would wear a Tesla necklace because I believe in sustainable energy. Oh yeah, okay, so this one's funny because I always wanted to tell the story about this one. Back in the day, like before like the woke era, like I actually got canceled for this, which is so crazy. Like I was just at a party with my friends, someone took this photo and I got leaked to this website called Hipster Runoff. And then he like ran this story. And this was like, I was trying to be like all integrity and you know, like start my career and it was like Grimes Gone Wild or something. It was just this like super whack, like mean story. And it was like this meme that was going all over the internet. But my friend who worked for, I will not say which video game, had access to, okay, well, I don't want to get him in trouble. But anyway, we were actually able to DDoS hipster runoff and um, basically blackmail them. We were like, like we're not gonna let you run your, put your site back up until you take the story down. And he did in fact take the story down and it was like my coolest hacker moment. So, yeah, that's the story of this photo. This is my first music video for a song called Vanessa. I just thought this is sort of like a funny, funny video because we shot it at my friend's studio. I remember getting like really canceled for this because back in 2011 in like indie music, it was like not cool to have dancing and stuff. I remember an op-ed in the Montreal Gazette about how I'd like sold out so much by making this music video. And I remember I, I made cookies the night before to like pay pay my friends like in cookies and stuff and then my roommate like ate all the cookies before I could uh, give them <laughs> to the dancers so it was like a somewhat of an ordeal but got a bunch of alcohol and everyone got really drunk. I, I feel like a lot most of the performers in this music video were completely blacked out. Everyone was just regular girls that I knew, mostly highly unprofessional but shout out to John Londano who filmed it and let us use his studio. It was very nice of him. Especially because I think people were like puking in the studio and stuff so it was you know, we really put him through it. But yeah, this was my debut. I don't want to make Little X too famous, so I, you know, we can move past this quickly, but that's my very cute little guy doing sort of like a cyber Madonna photo shoot that my friend Simone took this picture. He's just, as you can see, exceptionally cute. <laughs> don't want to give him too much air time. This is my first live TV performance, I think. I also have difficulty level extensions in there as I do now. I feel like this whole time period was like sort of a blur. But I remember, this was when I was still live looping using like a SP404 and stuff. That's a super dangerous way of performing live. I wouldn't recommend it. I used to get so nervous before performances like this. I feel like I like don't recall them or something. It's like you have to be a lot more civilized on television. So like usually in my show, it's like get the wind, get the strobes, like 
throw your body around and scream and stuff, but it doesn't like translate on live TV in the same way. Okay, this is from my NFT drop, which was one of the first NFT drops. Very sick NFT drop. Life-changing experience for me. I know people have d differing thoughts about NFTs, but uh, well, I think there are a lot of issues with NFTs at the moment, including power usage and stuff. I actually do think it's a great vehicle for art and artists. Like, I think all art should be free to everybody. Like, I sort of believe the patronage model is like a better system. But yeah, I, I did this with my brother Mac and my brother, like my brother just kept saying, he's like, we gotta do, you gotta get into NFTs. Like we, no one had really like done anything really with them yet. And I was like, man, like you said, I don't know what this is. This seems crazy, but like, sure, let's do like an NFT drop. Yeah, so I have to shout out my brother because he would, he like just pushed this so hard and everyone was like, oh, really? This, do we have time for this? And it ended up being like a massively huge success. I'm a very pro NFT person. I'm a very pro blockchain person. This has got to be just like a random show. I think that might be Taunt Starts Bandit, who are a pretty good band in the background. I thought it was like a inverse of having girl dancers to have unprofessional random dudes in the background. It's a, it's a vibe. I feel like the 2012 era was like pure chaos. Like I just had no idea what I was doing. I, I feel like one of the things about my career is that like basically the first music I made went viral. And so I really had to kind of like learn how to make music in real time, like while my like career was sort of happening. Like I was like, I can't read music. I can't play any instruments. And then so when people were like, now you have to play live. I was like, I've literally have sang like three songs in my entire life. I, I think this is around the time like designers started giving me stuff. So I feel like this is all clothes like that people randomly gave me. I remember we got robbed twice in Manchester. We got robbed the night after the show and then we got robbed again the next day, which was so funny. It was a, an experience, it, I, highly unprofessional, but you know. This is the Genesis music video. I feel like this is probably kind of like my breakout-y kind of thing. I directed this music video. I met all these people at a party like the week before. This is like one of those, you know, best days of your life kind of vibes. And I don't think we even really had a plan. We were, I was just sort of like, let's be anime in whatever park this is. The snake was like a large majority of the budget, probably. The sword was pretty cool. My brother figured out that you can like burn some kind of gel, like hand sanitizer or something, I forget what it is, and it'll just burn. And so we just got a sword and like put like whatever that substance was and lit it on fire. And it was like falling onto my arm and lighting my glove on fire and stuff. Which made me realize, cause they're super crazy about when you shoot, any, when you do any kind of pyro, they're super crazy in LA about the uh, fire marshal being there. And after doing that, I did understand why the fire marshal needs to be there. Oh, sick. So this is another failed project, but one that we tried really hard at. But I think it's cool, because this is like before everyone was like into avatars and stuff. Me and my brother and my manager and stuff were like, and our friend Ryder Rips made this, the War Nymph, who's our avatar. I mean, the main thing that's cool about this is like we did it, I think we did it kind of early. I don't think we did a great job. Like we couldn't even render hair, so we just had to make her bald because we like couldn't get good hair. Although it's, it's, it's kind of a look. I mean, I do like the idea of digital pop stars. I'd, I'd like to control some digital pop stars eventually. And I have some better plans to make better digital pop stars than this. Oh, I was also like pregnant here and trying to hide it, which is funny, but this is my like Steve Jobs image, like pretending that I'm subpar masterminding the, this digital avatar. Cool. That was great. Thank you so much, guys. Glad one of these still exists. Vintage. Projector thing. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't the best exit, sorry. <laughs>